I'm Angie. And I'm Ryan. And we are Happy Healthy Vegan. Here we are in magical, beautiful Northern California in a town called Sebastopol. Actually, I'm celebrating our anniversary, staying yes. at our first Airbnb. I know, first ever Airbnb, you guys, and it's a trip. It's pretty funky, but we love it. <laughs> yeah, so it's our 11th anniversary this weekend, and uh, I guess you guys are invited to join us. And it's very vegan friendly, as you'll see. <laughs> we are arriving at our Airbnb. Pretty cute. Looks basically as advertised here. Big bed. Plenty of space for our stuff. Books. Vibes. This was in the back of Ryan's car when I met him, actually. Carried it with him at all times, apparently. Oh, nice. Classic. Yes. All for books. Basically. Huh, so this is the front of the place where we're staying. Very interesting. I smelled fruit last night when we were taking a shower out here. That's our bathroom outside and that's the shower. Anyway, so now that it's light outside, I can see all these apples are falling off the tree into the hammock. Ryan's going to get some cinnamon and some oats, and I'm gonna make um, applesauce oatmeal. It's what I made when we went camping last year. Oh yeah, I got the loot. <laughs> Meanwhile, I decided to try her little pour over coffee station. Believe in yourself, yeah. I'm gonna try to pour these out into the garden. Uh, as it turns out, coffee grounds are actually really good food for your plants. This looks good. So have you guys heard of rune stones? Rune stones, they have some here, so I'm gonna do a little reading. Okay. Da, 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 da. So the action is new beginnings. Ah, it may be timely you complete some project now. If so, make that your first priority. Well, I did get out, keep it carved, baby. The book, which feels great, and this trip is partly to celebrate that. I don't know if I really know what a Gravenstein looks like. They don't have them at our farmer's market. This area is known for Gravenstein apples, so I assume. They're probably Gravenstein, so. They grow right in the backyard. Apples are so pretty. Doesn't this remind you of camping? I know, it's like camping. It's totally camping. So we just did a little yoga together, and meanwhile, here we go. Ryan has like this giant bowl, kind of looks like a doggy bowl. <laughs> what do you think? Mm -hmm. You good? Oh my gosh, it's gonna totally fill us up, hit the spot. I know there's so much in your bowl. <laughs> Dude, it's driving me crazy smelling that we're doing yoga. Huh? I know, uh, it smells very so different. Good. <laughs> Keep <laughs> 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 those like neighbors right there. <laughs> Just taking a shower on the side of a garage. That's <laughs> I don't know what kind of flower this is, but it makes these psychedelic looking berries. Like seeds, like psychedelic pink. But this is definitely persimmon, I was noticing. Yeah, you can tell by the shape. Oh, the season, but like yeah, shape. they're just getting started. They're probably gonna be fat by the time right, fall and winter right. comes. I know, huh? Yeah, this teeny tiny apple tree has got big old apples on it in someone's front yard. What kind is this? Maybe a golden delicious? These pink lilies are growing everywhere out here. So pretty. Fuchsia is one of my favorites. I'm kind of a front yard artist here in Sebastopol. There's a number of these little vehicles and people. Looks like they're on their way to Woodstock, perhaps. There's another one. They're all over. We got a little doggy in this one. Mmm, those roses smell really good. These roses are so cute, little wild roses. Oh, look at that. It's adorable. Cool gardens everywhere. 
cool architecture. Yeah. I want to live here. <laughs> I don't know if you guys saw my Snapchat, but I showed myself making this for our trip here. And what do you think, babe? Yeah, I made it two days ago. It's totally hitting the spot today. Well, I guess I'm all ready to go on our big bike trip over to uh, the winery. I know, winery. Ooh, scandalous. Right, after getting slightly lost, we found the path and this little library. It's so cute, but I don't have time to look in there. But it looks like this is the bike path. Yeah, this is totally Look at this guy, all shirtless. <laughs> it's hot, man. But anyways, this is the uh, this is the main reason we came here. Actually, was to see this little dappled bike path. So let's check it out. Stop to smell the roses. Oh my god, it's so worth it. Oh my god, it smells so good. Aha, uh -huh. we must be approaching Iron Horse Vineyards. So we are approaching Iron Horse Winery, which is listed on Barnivore as having uh, vegan winemaking practices. The brew was there? Yes. I don't even want to drink it. It's like it's so popular. Yeah. yeah, a long time ago when we were into wine, rosé was our favorite French rosé, but this is great Californian rosé. And I haven't mm -hmm. drank wine or alcohol in three years. I can't yes. remember, maybe four or five years. Yeah. We're just having little sips here, not getting wasted or anything. We're wasted. <laughs> well, I kind of am. I think. It's I, hitting, huh? I had 
one mixed drink last weekend at uh, the Asher Brown birthday party. But other than that, I think it's the only alcohol I've had all year. Yeah, these are the first drinks I've had in... <laughs> I know. Was it two years ago we did the episode at YouTube Space LA where we were saying how we don't drink? Sure. Hmm. But come on, champagne though. This is nice. These guys specialize in champagne. And this is a special occasion, our anniversary. And we came here before on a previous anniversary too, so it's extra special here. Oh, that's what I wanted to tell them. So we came here six years ago. Um, the only time we've ever done a tour through wine country. Um, yeah, this was the last stop, and it was the best stop. Yeah. Hey. Hey. This this is technically Sebastopol right now. A couple miles from Sebastopol, yeah. but close enough. Oh, okay. We're in Ross. We're in Ross. Yeah. That's really nice here. Yeah. It's cool. Iron Horse Vineyards. Awesome. Woo woo. <laughs> I'm so looking forward to it. So we always wanted a chance to check out more of Sebastopol and to come back to Iron Horse. Like I follow yeah. them on Facebook <laughs> and everything. But we haven't been back in all that time. Mm, that rosé is nice. Mm. Nice, sparkly rosé. It's so good. Yeah. Oh, it's so good, you guys. <laughs> oh, you're cute. Oh, look at Lucy here. What a very attractive woman. <gasps> look at that kitty. Hi. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah. We like that. Huh? We like that. Mm. What a glorious day. This is the road, right? This is the road. Oh, it took your shirt off, I see. Yeah, I'm ready for <laughs> I think it's a Pinot. Wow. wow. They have seeds, but... It's really amazing. Yeah, it's really wow. so <laughs> flavorful. <laughs> yeah, it's so pretty here. It's ridiculous. Blackberries, you guys. Mmm, fresh. So good, huh? So sweet. And you literally could just eat these all day. There's a billion of these. These are so delicious. They taste better than any blackberries I've had. I wonder if there's something else. This is Dude, it's just super good. fresh. I'm Google them. Mmm. Mmm. Ryan wants to go, but I'm like in a berry delirium. I like can't stop eating berries. I've already ate like. This would be so much money if I was back home buying at Farmer's Market. And I'm not even remotely making a dent. This sign goes all the way down the road and all the way up the road. It's insane. Right, we've been riding for several miles. And uh, we're back more towards the beginning of our journey. Eating some graven signs or whatever they are. Freshly fallen from our backyard. Yeah. Isn't that awesome? I ate so many berries or berry juice on the camera. <laughs> so many free apples. This is like a fruitarian paradise. Also on the menu here for snacks, um, strangely enough, when we were at the Veg Fest LA, Mrs. Vegan handed us some little Earth Balance peanut butter spread. I spread it onto some uh, sourdough bread, and uh, now Ryan can enjoy it with his apple. <laughs> I'm so tired of a bike ride today. It was pretty crazy. I really pushed past my comfort zone. I hate riding down hills, probably even more than I hate riding up hills. We went up and down all these hills. We rode on all these different road surfaces. Some areas are really smooth and then others are like gravel. And then one long area was actually um, wood slats. And, uh, yeah, sometimes there was, like, crazy traffic that we had to cross, and other times it was, like, these really pleasant little, um, lanes. Oh, my gosh. It was just so nuts. 
Yeah. It's really pretty out It'll right now. It'll be dark and not as pretty. I know, man. This tree is huge, in, you guys. Huge. In. Oh, that tree. Oh, there we go. So sweet. You don't like that other cat. You don't have to worry about that other cat. That cat's not gonna mess with you. Hey, come back. He's a cat. Oh. Okay. Oh, maybe it's under the car. Uh oh, fighting. Hey guys. Look how cute the house is. More super tall. I think these are sequoias. They're so huge. You know, a man with a bird on his head and some kind of weird light for an eye. And why not? So you can see we're coming up on some more weird men. Weird men. This one. Superhero of some type. Batman. Huh. Interesting. So the sky is getting really pretty right over the baseball guy. It's Babe Ruth. You think it's Babe Ruth? I think so. Babe Ruth. Huh. Interesting walk downtown. Okay, this looks to be a dog with a cat with a bird on it. Cute. Whoa. Whoa. I was gonna film this beautiful pink sky up ahead with that car though. All right, this is our second dinner now. <laughs> and um, Slice of Life. We did the classic pizza last night. We were eating the, the air fries or whatever. Yeah. They're they just... baked in the oven, just like how I make them at home. Exactly, Chips. I know. Chippies. Tastes like Tuesday night to me. He yeah. usually makes these for me when I'm at yoga class. Uh, got a California black, burger, black bean burger, black bean burger. With, um, with more of the like, fake bacon. Fake bacon and I think I got fake bacon too, but I got a different kind. Um, so I got the BLT. So let's do this. So that is the end of our first day's adventure here in Sebastopol, California, in Sonoma County. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave your questions and comments down below. Like the video if you're into it. Share with a friend. Stay up subscribed for more vegan content from the two of us here at Happy Healthy Vegan. And until next time, keep it carb, baby. Keep it carb. Ha, 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 ha.